Hello my friend, in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily create and schedule Instagram carousel posts to very, very effortlessly and effectively promote your Spotify releases on social media. We'll be exploring the magic behind carousel posts and using a hook image to draw people into your posts and actually want to stream your music. We'll be using free tools like Canva to create simple promotional videos of your artwork and song. And we'll be looking into the best practices for scheduling and optimizing your posts so that they get the most engagement while at the same time taking as little much of your time away from you as possible. And I should also mention that the tool that we're going to be using to schedule out all these posts is free as well. So as long as you have artwork and a song, you're going to be able to create these promotional posts and get your music out there. In this video, we'll be covering step six of the seven step Spotify release checklist which is to schedule out your Facebook and Instagram social media posts. This simple seven step checklist is what I've used release after release after release to get over 6.5 million streams on Spotify. And it's a completely free checklist. If you want to grab it for yourself, the link is in the description below. And with that said, let's jump right into this. All right. So this is a look at the carousel posts that we're going to be creating. Essentially, the very first photo is going to be an image of yourself, whether you, maybe you and a group of friends, uh, even a selfie you performing live, anything like that. Something with you in it to kind of catch people's attention and stop the scroll. And the second shot is essentially just the artwork. You can have some kind of little stuff over top of it if you'd like to, but really you can keep it as simple as the artwork with a clip of the song playing behind. So the idea here is that this image will stop the scroll, capture people's attention. And then this swiping also counts as an engagement metric for Instagram's algorithm, which can increase the organic reach of your post. And this increased engagement and attention means that there is a potential for more eyeballs to appear on your post. So this way you grab the attention here, you get an additional engagement and people can actually see your, your artwork, hear your song, and then actually have a really quick uh, caption. We'll go into this, but it can be as simple as calling attention to whatever this main hook image is. And then in the PS mentioning that the song's out, they can listen to it on um, either clicking the link in your bio or looking up the song name, which you'll post here in um, their favorite music listening app. And the idea is have two, three of these posts. So two or three original of these hook images, and then you can have two or three of this image here with a song behind it and have different sections of the song behind it so that you're kind of keeping it fresh and interesting to people that are listening. And then real quick, I just want to show you what it kind of looks like over here is to keep things super simple. You can either have a link directly to your Spotify profile in your link in bio here, or if you want to use one of these apps right now, I'm testing out this Koji app. You can use basically anything you want to. I'd recommend just making sure that it's something free and then having some kind of listen on Spotify button and then making it so that it just goes directly to your artist page. A couple of reasons for that. One is that they can easily follow your, um, your profile from here, you can include your latest song as the artist pick at the top. And there's usually when the new song comes up, it's going to show up a little bit higher in the popular section and it should show up here in the latest release section as well. So it should be fairly easy for them to get to that actual song. So with that said, let's jump into actually creating and scheduling these posts out. All right. So the first thing that we're going to create is the actual little promo video for the release. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over into Canva. We're going to press create a design and we are going to use Instagram post square. And then what we're going to do is head over to the upload section. We're going to go to upload files. We're going to go over our music releases folder, go into the song that we're actually releasing for, go to the artwork and let's go ahead and upload that artwork just like that. Should just take a moment. You'll see it uploading here. Once it's done, just drag it into there. Boom. Then we'll go over to audio, press upload files, go back into the folder for this release. We'll go over to audio and let's grab in just the MP3 should be good enough. So we can load that in like that. Wait for that to finish. So now that it's upload, we'll just drag it over. Boom. So what we're going to want to do is adjust the length. So if we go to the edit timing at the top here, we can drag this up the longest we can do is 30 seconds. And that's, that's kind of good enough. Then what we'll do is we can go into the song here and now we can drag this around to find the part of the song that we want to use. Go ahead and play it back. Move 
move it over. Find a more interesting part. I think that's good enough for the first one. So if you click duration, you can really get in here, press play, move it around, find where you want to go. That's good enough, I would say. So we'll just go over to share. We'll go over to download. Um, MP4 should do the trick. Uh, and what we'll do is just press download and wait for this to kind of finish downloading. While that's happening, we're going to get ready to actually schedule this as a post on Instagram. And the best way to do that is to go over to Meta Business Suite. What you're going to do is make sure that you are in the right profile. So we're in Best Friends Club here, which is perfect. And then we're going to go over to, I usually like going to the planner so that you can kind of see everything uh, in this view is kind of how I prefer it. So you can actually kind of see. So this song is coming out on the 27th. So we'll go ahead and press uh, schedule a post uh, right here, schedule a post and then let it load up. Uh, right now it's going to say the Facebook suggested time for now, just press cancel. So what we're going to want to do, go up to the top and pray, press post to uh, Instagram. Uh, you can have it post to both if you'd like it to, but I'm going to deselect Facebook because I don't really care about that right now. So then next, what you're going to want to do is um, add the media to this post. So we're going to be creating a carousel post. What we'll do is press add photo or video, press upload from desktop. We're going to go into the release folder, go into social posts. And what we're going to want to do is first have a kind of hook photo. So what we'll use, I already grabbed a couple different little candid photos. So one of me playing live, one of me playing pool, one with some friends. The idea is that this will be the hook that will get people's interest in the post. Usually something with you is, is usually the best kind of idea here. Um, so we'll use something like this and we'll press the edit and we're going to want to change it to a square as well. Then just kind of adjust the cropping. Boom. You can also apply filters if you want to. So usually I'll kind of just click to the filter section and click through a couple to see if anything looks a bit popping. I'm kind of like in fall, I guess it's. Mm, maybe summer. Let's do summer. Sure. Apply. So crop it to a square because the video is a square and they're going to need to be all the same dimensions or it won't work. So we'll press add photo video, upload from desktop. We're going to go to the social post area and we have that new uh, 30 second video clip that we just added with the artwork and we'll have that uploaded as the second um, part in the carousel. So the idea is it's going to look like this. It's going to be an image of you to kind of capture people's attention. And then when they swipe over, it'll be the song, the artwork, they can actually hear it and see what the artwork is. So that's that. That's kind of the bulk of this. Then in terms of the um, post details, the actual captions. But for me, I'm going to open up my own Instagram and go to one of my previous posts um, of one of these kind of templates. And let's grab one like this. So I'm just going to grab this. I have a bunch of uh, tags added. I don't really know if they even really do anything anymore, but I'm going to keep using it. So I'll just post this in. So it's a bunch of tags, music producer, kind of genre tags, song tags, those kinds of things. You can do that. It's kind of optional. So then what I would do is then have a short little bit. You can have it as long as short as you want. I'm usually lazy with social media. I don't really give a crap about it. So I usually will do something like this. So I have this little uh, kind of cool ball emoji, uh, and then I'll write something stupid for a caption, all in one. Um, <laughs> and then in the PS, then Destin is out now. PS, my news on where you enjoy music, link in bio, or look it up in your favorite music. Uh, what app? Uh, usually, kind of something like this to kind of get people's attention to actually stream the song. But this is kind of the main idea here. So then we'll just go down. Usually I think it's a good idea to enter in the location that you're at, um, which could help getting you some visibility. And then what you're going to do is with Instagram, you can press active times. Um, so apparently the best active time would be Friday um, on, the, on three o'clock on the release day. But 
I'm going to make it a bit earlier because I want people to stream the song earlier. So we'll do like something like 9, 909, like the drum machine. And we'll press save. And then you can do a quick review. This is what it's going to look like. The second one has this video. You can reorganize it if you want to. You can include another candidate at the end if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. And then one thing that I do want to do is I'm going to add this emoji here, right? PC. And then I just want to tag my friend Maddie because she actually took the photo. It's kind of a nice thing to do. Um, pretty sure she took the photo. Yeah, she definitely did. And then after that, just do a quick review and you can press schedule. And that is that. Then I would go through this process about two or three more times so that I have one of these posts. So on the Friday, have this one go out on release day. Then the week after that, I'd probably do Wednesday or Thursday. So that way the potential, the social post has the potential to increase the amount of streams right before release radar, which usually comes out on Friday. So I'd probably do the Wednesday or Thursday after that. And then the Wednesday or Thursday after that as well. So at least three weeks of these posts. Sometimes a fourth, sometimes a fifth, depending on when you have your next release coming up. But that's basically how simple this can be. And then I should mention when it comes to the actual, um, the second part in these carousels, that video, something that you can probably just have the same point in the song playing each time. I like to go into the can into Canva, uh, click into the actual audio, press duration, and just drag this around so that a different part's playing right here. Yeah, something a little different. So that way there is a different part in the song playing. So then once you've captured another part of the clip, you can go to download, press download once again, let this finish, save it as social post number two. And then that way week one, you have a one photo and then clip one week two, you have photo number two and clip number two, photo number three, clip number two, three, you, you kind of get it. So this is a different part of the song on each one of the, the parts that you're promoting. Hello again, my friend. Hopefully you found that video useful. If you'd like to follow along yourself with the seven step Spotify release checklist, there will be a link to that in the description below where you can get access to that completely for free. Again, this is the checklist that I've used release after release to get over 6.5 million streams to date. It really just streamlines everything and makes sure that I'm only focusing on the tasks that are actually going to move the needle. With that said, again, there will be a link to that in the description below. And if you did find this video useful, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. But really, the best thing I can do for you is hook you up with that free checklist. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video, my friend. Have a good one.